Welcome back to Get Healthy Naturally. Have you ever wondered what gives your favorite candies, snacks, and beverages their vibrant colors? Ever heard about red dye number 40? Well, let's delve into the mystery of this omnipresent food colorant. Red dye number 40, officially known as Allura Red AC, is a synthetic food coloring that's found in a surprising number of edible items in the USA. It's the secret behind the captivating crimson of your beloved gummy bears, the fiery hue of your go-to hot sauce, and the alluring allure of that fizzy soda you can't resist. This dye has been a staple in the food industry for decades. It's the most frequently used food dye in the United States, and it's also won the most banned additives in Europe and across the globe after their scientific research indicated it could be harmful to health, especially to young children. From candies to breakfast cereals, from pastries to pickles, and from drinks to dressings, red dye number 40 has a wide berth. But what exactly is this mysterious ingredient? To put it simply, it's a petroleum derivative. Yes, you heard it right. This synthetic dye is created from petroleum, the same substance that fuels our cars and heats our homes. Despite its omnipresence, red dye number 40 has been a topic of controversy and concern. While it has received the green light from regulatory bodies like the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the European Food Safety Authority, questions about its potential health impacts continue to swirl. The concerns range from hyperactivity and behavioral issues in children to allergic reactions in sensitive individuals. Some studies also suggest potential carcinogenic effects while others indicate possible impacts on metabolism and genotoxicity. So the next time you see a food product with a vibrant red color, chances are it contains red dye number 40. While red dye number 40 adds appealing color to our foods it might not be as innocent as it seems. The vibrant red hue of your favorite candy, or the eye-catching color of your go-to fizzy drink might be courtesy of a little something called red dye number 40. But what if this common ingredient hides some potential dangers? Let's delve into the concerns that have been raised about red dye number 40. Firstly, let's tackle hyperactivity and behavioral issues. Some studies suggest a link between the consumption of artificial food colorings, including red dye number 40, and heightened hyperactivity and behavioral issues in children. Imagine a sugar rush, but instead of sugar, it's the color of the sweets causing the ruckus. However, it's important to remember that the evidence isn't entirely conclusive and responses can vary from child to child. Next, we have allergic reactions. Some folks, particularly children, might be sensitive or even allergic to certain food colorings. Red dye number 40 has been associated with allergic reactions causing symptoms like hives and itching in some people. So, if you've ever noticed an unexpected rash after indulging in red-colored candies, this could be why. Moving on to asthma. There have been instances where red dye number 40 has triggered asthma symptoms. While it's not a widespread issue, it does underscore the potential for some additives to impact respiratory health. If you or your child have asthma, it might be worth keeping an eye on food labels when shopping. Now let's talk about some more serious concerns. Carcinogenicity. Animal studies have shown the carcinogenic effects of certain food colorings like red dye number 40. Human studies investigating the association between red dye number 40 and cancer in the general population have not provided clear and consistent evidence of a significant risk, however, there is a correlation according to some research. Here's the catch though. These findings may not directly translate to humans and long-term comprehensive studies on the carcinogenicity of red dye number 40 are still ongoing, but there has been enough evidence for some countries to ban it entirely. Lastly, we have metabolism and genotoxicity. Some research has pointed to the impact of red dye number 40 on metabolism and genotoxicity, which means potential effects on genetic material. Imagine a food coloring having the power to affect your DNA. Sounds like science fiction, right? But more research is needed to establish conclusive evidence. It's essential to remember that the overall safety of food additives including red dye number 40 is a complex and constantly evolving area of research. Regulatory agencies continue to monitor and evaluate the safety of these substances, but as a precaution, you might choose to limit your intake of artificial food colorings. If you're a parent, you might want to consider natural alternatives for your kids. And if there are concerns about specific sensitivities or reactions, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. After all, better safe than sorry, right? Clearly there are some potential risks associated with red dye number 40 that warrant our attention. Scene script. Despite these concerns, red dye number 40 is approved by the FDA in the USA, yet banned by other European countries. But why is that the case? 
Regulatory bodies such as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration have given the green light for the use of red dye number 40 in food, medicines, and cosmetics. This approval is based on their assessment of older scientific evidence, which suggests that this food colorant is safe for general consumption at the levels typically used in food products and not the latest research. One also has to wonder how much the food industry lobbies for these findings. It's important to understand that the approval process for food additives like red dye number 40 is thorough and rigorous, but also funded by the companies that continue to use it. It involves evaluating the results of numerous studies looking at different aspects of the substance's safety, including its potential to cause adverse reactions, its impact on metabolism and genetic material, and any possible links to diseases such as cancer. But you also have to look at who is paying for the research and the studies, and what's at stake to their businesses and sales in the market. The approval of these substances is not set in stone. Regulatory agencies continuously monitor the latest research related to food additives and can revise their stance if new evidence emerges that calls into question the safety of a substance. In the case of red dye number 40, ongoing research continues to explore potential links to health issues such as hyperactivity in children, allergic reactions, asthma, and other concerns, even though other research in Europe and across the globe has proven the dangers of this additive. Yet the same companies that continue to use red dye number 40 in their products sold in the United States, abide by the rule of European countries, ban by selling the same products to other countries without these harmful chemicals. So while red dye number 40 is currently approved for use in the USA and banned in Norway, Finland, France, Austria, UK and other nations, the science continues to evolve, and our understanding of its potential impact on health may change over time, depending on which studies you believe. If you're concerned about red dye number 40, you might be wondering how you can avoid it in your diet. Well, you're in luck. Here are some practical tips that can help you steer clear of this artificial food coloring. Firstly, the most effective way to avoid red dye number 40 is to become a vigilant label reader. You might be surprised to find out just how many food items contain this potentially dangerous synthetic dye. It's not just in candy and soda either, it's in everything from breakfast cereals to salad dressings. So, before you put anything in your shopping cart, take a moment to scan the ingredients list. If you see red dye number 40, Allura Red AC or E129, that's the European name for it, you might want to reconsider. Now you might be thinking, but what about foods that don't have labels? Well, the good news is whole foods like fruits, vegetables, lean meats and whole grains don't contain artificial food colorings. So, a good rule of thumb is to stick to the outer aisles of the grocery store where these fresh foods are usually found. But, what if you or your kids have a sweet tooth? Does this mean you have to give up all those brightly colored treats? Not necessarily, there are plenty of natural food colorings available. For instance, beet juice can be used to create a vibrant red color, turmeric can give a golden hue, and spirulina can provide a beautiful blue. Plus, using these natural colorings can also add a nutritional boost to your dishes. Now, let's talk about dining out. This can be a bit trickier since you don't have access to the ingredients list, but, don't worry, you still have options. You can ask the server if they know whether the dish contains red dye number 40. If they're unsure, you can always opt for dishes that are less likely to contain artificial colorings like grilled or roasted meats and veggies, or dishes made with whole foods. And finally, if you or your child have had a reaction to red dye number 40, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional. They can provide guidance on how to manage and avoid potential allergens, and they can also perform tests to confirm whether you have a sensitivity or allergy. But remember, avoiding red dye number 40 doesn't have to feel like a punishment. It can be an opportunity to get creative in the kitchen and explore a variety of colorful, wholesome, and natural foods that are much more healthier for you. And if you're ever in doubt, just remember this simple phrase, when in doubt, leave it out. By being proactive and conscious about what goes into your food, you can make informed decisions about your diet and health. So, what's the bottom line when it comes to red dye number 40? At the end of the day, it's all about making informed choices. We've delved into the mystery of red dye number 40, a common food additive, and uncovered some potential health concerns that warrant our attention. Let's circle back to the key points. Red dye number 40, synonymous with Allura Red AC, is a synthetic food coloring found in a wide array of processed foods. The love for vibrant colors in our food has made it a popular choice in the food industry. 
However, beneath its bright appeal lie some potential hazards that may impact our health and well-being. We've touched upon the possible link between artificial food colorings like red dye number 40 and hyperactivity and behavioral issues in children. The potential for such effects can't be dismissed outright given the evidence. It's crucial to be aware of this, especially for parents who may find themselves grappling with unexplained changes in their child's behavior. We've also discussed how red dye number 40 could cause allergic reactions in certain individuals. While this isn't a universal reaction, those who are sensitive might experience symptoms like hives or itching or cognitive changes and poor decision-making. Moreover, there have been instances of this dye triggering asthma symptoms, underscoring the potential for certain additives to impact respiratory health. One of the more concerning aspects we've explored is the potential carcinogenic effects of certain food colorings. Animal studies have suggested possible carcinogenic properties of red dye number 40. Although we can't directly translate these findings to humans, it's a point to ponder. Similarly, there are concerns about the impact of the dye on metabolism and genotoxicity, indicating possible effects on genetic material. As consumers, we must stay informed and make dietary choices that align with our health and well-being. That means you must do your own research and figure out what is best you and your family, especially your kids. For those who wish to err on the side of caution, limiting the intake of artificial food colorings and opting for natural alternatives might be a wise choice. If you have concerns about specific sensitivities or reactions, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional. Please like and subscribe to get healthy naturally. Remember, when it comes to your health and the health of your loved ones, knowledge is power. So get informed, get healthy, stay well and live your best life.